What you are looking at is a piece of the Acer Aspire 5050 painted black. This is what happens when it becomes a good idea. This is what happens when it becomes a bad idea. Okay, so I'm going to say it. During the summer, when I got the Acer Aspire 5570Z, it had the original stickers on it. And when I peeled the stickers off because they were starting to lose their stickiness, it left a bright outline of the sticker. So basically underneath the sticker it was lighter and on the rest of the plastic it was darker. I didn't like that. So I thought, oh, it'd be a good idea to spray paint the plastic. This is from the Acer Spire 5570Z. This one, <laughs> you can clearly see I'm trying to get the paint off, is from the Acer Spire 5050. How can I tell? See that crack there? That's from the Acer Spire 5050. The only reason I used this one is because, well, it has that crack there. And it's good to have two of these. So if I spray painted the dummy case, which is the one with the crack in it, a color, and if I like it, I'll spray paint the other one. So, you know, it, it's good to have two of them. Now, I spray painted the mouse buttons. I didn't really like them, so I did some modifications. Could you imagine what this thing would look like if it was completely painted black with the silver mouse buttons? That'd be so cool. Because in the middle here, it's silver. The mouse buttons would be silver, and the webcam would be silver. So it just goes right in the middle. And like, that's how I liked it. Well, this is what happened. I had this thing sitting on the hot tub, and I had a cardboard box on top of the hot tub lid, of course. I spray painted this black with the first coat, then I let it dry, then put the second coat on, and then a friggin' spider crawls out from underneath the mouse pad and starts crawling on here and it gets stuck. Reached over, pulled it out, and I smudged the paint. I was so pissed off with myself. I I just died a little inside. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what happened. I don't have sandpaper, so I tried scraping it off, which um, right there, that's the actual um, plastic molding. When I scraped the black spray paint off, not only did I scrape that off, I scraped the silver off, revealing the plastic mold. Now, I'm a kind of person that doesn't like silver at all. Because if you scratch the paint off of the silver, you're going to have this black color underneath. And that's what I didn't like. The Acer Aspire 5050 was spray painted black because there is a few uh, pieces of paint flaking away, some of the silver. And it was revealing these black dots that kind of, that really bothered me. I didn't like them. So, yeah. The only reason why I scraped the paint off this one, or starting to, the first thing to peel off was the front. This black spray paint is for plastics, but look at that. It just... It just peeled right off after dinging it against something. 
Same fate on this side. And I spray painted the sides, like the, the side rim. There's only that little bit of black paint left. So I thought, screw it. I'm not going to deal with this. Yeah, I don't have sandpaper, so I can't get this off. Heck, my nails are starting to grow and I have to cut them. So before I do cut them, I tried peeling the paint off. Well, that only worked for this part. So, you know, this part here was the easiest to kind of peel off. This part here is really hard. But I think it's going to look terrible because I can feel the scratch marks. So, what started out to be a good idea ended up to be a disaster on both casings. This one would have been a perfect one because this is all perfect, it's glossy, it's nice. But if it wasn't for that fucking spider just crawling on there, getting stuck, it probably wouldn't have happened. So, I've got to figure out how to get this black spray paint off. I'm going to fill up a sink full of hot water and with bubbly soap. See if it will kind of soak into the paint so it can be easier to peel off. And next summer, I'll try again. God, I'm so pissed off right now. Could you imagine going to a public place with your laptop looking like that? God, I sure as hell wouldn't. <sighs> well, now you know what happened. I was meaning to do a video about this, but after showing these dings on the front, I decided not to. And one YouTuber didn't even recognize this laptop. They didn't think it was the Acer Aspire. They thought it was a completely different computer. Nope. It's the same one. Always has been. But it looks like shit. 